us, you know, uh, we struggled all year qualifying and uh, putting a whole night together, but, uh, you know, we qualified third tonight, um, which is good. You know, it's nice to just have to run fourth on the heat instead of uh, having to win the thing. Heat races are usually pretty, pretty stout um, with these guys, you know. Uh, the first two rows of the heats are always guys who, uh, you know, can can get around pretty good. You know, in the beginning, of the night. also the track is uh, it's usually tough heat race time. It's not really always that racy, and uh, so Fort just makes it makes it nice where you can just cruise around and figure out your race car. So, uh, you know, hats off to my guys again. You know, we were really really good tonight. Uh, I feel car wise, and um, you know, I also put that up to going to the Midwest last week and. Uh, racing against the Outlaws and uh, the guys at Houston's, they're, uh, they're no joke. So uh, when we can go race against them and, you know, put a good showing in and figure out our race car to be on their level, you come back here and uh, getting around these tracks is a bit easier than, you know, those places. So, um, you know, just glad to finally put a whole night together and uh, glad we can start this week off with a win. Great night here at Medford. Um, anytime you're on a podium with NARC, it, it's a good night. Um, I think kind of a new shape for most of us. If anyone's been here before, they've changed it a little bit. I definitely haven't been here since they changed it. So um, usually nights go a lot easy when you win your heat race or qualify good. And that's what we did. And got a little lucky with the invert there in the dash. And um, I'm prone to do pretty well if we start up front. Like I, I like to, to lead or chase a little bit. And um, this car is amazing. So that so was just like 30 straight laps. I, I was not really want to yell to be honest once you get to a certain point it's nice because you're kind of just you know you're everyone's strung out but if you're close to the leader you know it's kind of just two guy race i don't know where tanner was i know he's close at one point but uh, i just kind of cleaned up a little bit a little bit of mistakes there hit the wall uh killed a tire in the dash or wheel in the dash just about did that again in the main uh just a lot of horsepower with this pistol motor so you know it's uh overall not a bad points night too we're trying to catch dom i don't know if we'll ever catch corey but um i'll be proud if we can run second or third in points this year our rookie year with narc so uh we're here as a team at least but just cruising on man uh we got a long seven more races to go in like eight days or whatever so be good i started out pretty well went out hot laps felt pretty good uh guys gave me a great car and hot laps and it just kind of made me trust the car and qualifying and uh Went out there and, and just ripped the lip as hard as I could and uh, went quick time and man, the car felt great. And then heat race started fourth and was able to make it up to second. Well, but Caden, I think we ran, he ran a fuel or something there at the end. But uh, yeah, the heat race went good. So we went fourth, second, and then uh, Dash started fourth. Got the third for a second and then Tanner Holmes slid me and kind of, he blew past me and then I just was kind of sitting duck and fourth and ran fourth for the rest of the Dash and then uh, started fourth in the main. A little free at the beginning and uh, just I think I could have got my wing back a little bit earlier it would have helped me a little bit better but um, we were good just uh, made a little mistake in lap traffic and uh, cost us you know maybe running a top three or something but um, yeah my guys gave me a great car all night and uh, we were able to finish fourth at the end of everything and uh, yeah can't thank everybody enough. Is this your first 410 race non-stop amen? Yeah, I've never went green all the way. Actually, I've gone green almost all the way at Petaluma, but two laps ago we uh, we had a caution. So, yeah. All right, thanks. Yeah. Hometown boy, man, you're a busy guy up here when you get to hometown, yeah. huh? Oh gosh, yeah. No, it's uh, I was joking. I said his obligations. No, we we have so much fun here. I love running Southern Oregon Speedway. You know, we don't get to race. A bunch of these guys that live down in the valley or in Chico area, like they all have a track that's close to home that races regularly, and like we don't. So this is a rare occasion for us to uh, get to sleep at, you know, sleep at the house tonight, have our shop, have everything handy to us, and then we're on the road starting tomorrow. But um, yeah, great night for us. I mean, you know, uh, qualified, qualified good, and kind of just got better throughout the night. Had a couple starts there with Sanders in our heat race, and like luckily got him and got the win, which was key to our success in running up front. So um, got a start fifth in the dash. Was a little worried about that just because, uh, man, it's it's so hard to make any positions up. The track was pretty quick all night, but got a row, started third, and then you know finished third in the feature. But um, and in 30 laps nonstop too. So it just good night for us. Our car was strong. Um, I feel like you know kind of showed that when we are at a track where we know well, we run better. You know, obviously run better. So it was a great night. Yeah, if, if I didn't say, everybody already probably knows, but it is Tanner Holmes, just so I'm saying that. And, um, okay, so just running back real quick. So when the start of a heat race like that, and then they run it back, and then, and then you're like, what, what goes through your mind on that? I mean, it's pretty simple. It's basically just like you have to be on kill every every start. It doesn't matter. 
the first one I was not really, but Justin also got going, and I just spun my tires real bad. The bottom was greasy, which made it more challenging for me, so I, I kind of wanted to j jump the start, and like, I'm sure he wanted to jump too. Uh, so it's just, you know, it's just games, and, and you know, he goes here, I go there, we're, we're, like, where I go, he's not gonna go. So you kind of just know that, and, um, and me and Justin race really hard, and just like we all race really hard out here. So that was, I knew that that heat race was basically the key to if we were gonna be in a good spot to win tonight, or we were gonna have some work to do. And then in the main event, um, you you really gained on on Justin Cox in the in the flat cars. You really had something figured out there. And do you think you could have? done something different to get around him yeah maybe if the lap cars were in different spots my problem was like i would get to him and then like my pace would match his pace and then we'd have a lap car so we both had to run the top to try to get around him like i wanted to move to the bottom sooner but i just couldn't because of where those guys were at so i probably got a little complacent sometimes which you know led to us running third maybe instead of running second or whatnot and then we also we lost a right rear shock at some point in the race because it came came undone up top on the stud and so then my car got worse from there so i kind of started to fall off even though i caught them there at the end just because of how things position so it's probably one of those things if if it, if five different plays go differently like well, that's the difference in us you know being there and not or even being farther back so just tried to run the best race we could and um be up on the wheel and then the uh you know the difference between two weeks here you know you were here last yeah. week in a 360 yeah. and your tire did not look like it looks today yeah no kidding yeah no and hats off to the track prep that everyone was so worried but man they killed it tonight you know it got a little fast in the feature i think we wish it was like maybe you know in a perfect world if you're critiquing from every angle like maybe a little bit slicker but the track changed did her tires race good not a single yellow uh, i mean not a lot you know not much more you can ask for so great surface two different corners a curve i'm sure the california guys they eat that up they love curves that's not as much my thing, but those guys just live or die by that down there. So yeah, I think everyone left here with positive vibes. Damn, the crowd was huge. Yeah. <laughs> On a Thursday night at Southern Oregon Speedway, I think they're still trying to get out of here. Oh yeah. And we're been out of here like almost an hour now. Yeah. And uh, the 50/50 was crazy. Yeah. I'm sure you sold a ton of souvenirs. I know you had a thing up front there. Just a great night here. No, Northwest is great. I mean, people don't realize that we do have a great fan base here, and all the way up, we're gonna see this every night which we love and, and it, it's a lot of it's the 410s people want to see 410 sprint car racing and I mean it's the most badass racing on the planet so it's great we got a lot of awesome fans in this area and want nothing more than to keep running on the podium and I think if we put ourselves in position like we did tonight that's how you win races so whether they fall in your lap or you end up in the right spot or whatever or you just win them so we just got to keep being that quick and keep qualifying good and uh, just try to be right there with the guys up front and then on top of that, you wouldn't be able to do this with your awesome sponsors and your awesome crew. Let's hear them. Yeah, I even have one of my sponsors right here. This is uh, Johnny Burke. He's owner of Canopy, or owner of Canopy Country. He's one of the sponsors on my car. Uh, Shane DeWall Trucking. We also have RTR Diesel Performance. Those are two big partners that really helped me this year. Uh, locally, we got Carson, Next Gen, Fast Sport Media. He's always capturing stuff. He's filming this weekend with uh, Flo. Uh, and uh, we also have Land and Transport, D-Ray Designs, Mean and Doll Truck, Full Send Racing, Earth Environment. We got more. We got more. We got a lot of stickers, a lot of helpers, and then my great crew. So thankful for them. And we're just one night down. So I mean, tonight was a lot with 30 laps straight, but um, just just a warm up for what we have to come. Good luck. Thank you.